Most beloved Presidente, do you remember Tropico? Emerald palm trees, platinum beaches and crystalline seas, from which the sun reflects like the twinkling of jewels and golden coins. It is I, Presidente, Penultimo, your faithful aide, your biggest fan. I chronicled your triumphs. Fear not, for nothing was written down. Penultimo never forgets. Unless he is told to, of course. So, let us enjoy these stories of the past. And what better place to start than the time you first met your loyal penultimo, oh most successful Presidente. It was like the first sunrise of my life. Hello there. You must be the new governor. I'm Lord Wyndham, voice of the crown, and it's your job to do as I say. Until your mandate runs out, at least.
More, Governor, more. Always more. Hop to it. The crown demands. I have new instructions. I mean, suggestions. The plantation's growing nicely, I take it? Hmm? Filthy thing, nature. But there's money in it. Myself, Governor, do the ends justify being mean? But for independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. I must say, I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult these days. Palace is nicer than this place.
our revolution is... More, Governor, more. Always more. Hop to it. The Crown demands. Your distillery seems to be working. Quick tip, Governor. It's best not to sample your own tipple, if you get my meaning. Hmm? Jolly good. It's my job to fully exploit these islands, insignificant as they are. Or bananas, giant apes, dinosaurs, whatever has monetary value. Well, you did the right thing, which is whatever the crown says it is. Cream tea? Do you know what is popular with the people? Families. Everyone loves children. Well, everyone loves their own children. Other people's children are another matter entirely. But we can win some popular support by paying people to have children. The citizens will like all the implications of that legislation. Eh? It may be a tropical tradition that all meals are paid for by the state, but traditions can be changed. With this edict, you can make everyone pay to eat, 
bringing extra cash into the treasury and making those with the means of production awfully chuffed with themselves. On the other hand, the bleeding hearts might be a teensy bit miffed when the poorest folk go to bed hungry, but nobody said life was easy. is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? Choices like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor.
corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. Salty sea, she burns the lungs of young Penultimo. The sensation is quite unpleasant. You're doing splendidly, Governor. Oh, by the way, I don't suppose you've seen any valuable metal on your travels? Any gold? No? Imagine my joy at being back on an island with brick buildings and indoor plumbing and at having someone to talk to who is not a coconut. Shh, shh, my governor, we must talk, but not too loudly, as walls have ears, and not too softly, or we shall not hear one another, and we will be forced to repeat ourselves. Governor. I have successfully milked my former coconut friends for all they're worth. And there is so much more I can do for you. Why are you wasting your time here? All I see is coconuts. And I hate coconuts. Vile, furry, sloshing things. The Crown's advisors commissioned an inventory of your island's resources. This expensive survey suggests that you have many trees. So, it seems that we are unable to find gold. The Crown isn't angry, Governor. The Crown is merely disappointed.
our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. <laughs>